ah just run away from the strike please if you're going to that school it's because phones get stolen very bad what's up guys welcome back to mohan tv my name is mohan today we are going to be discussing the topic things you should know before joining maseno university maybe you are joining maseno university in the next one month i guess so i'm going to be telling you the things that you're supposed to know i'm not going to lie to you guys i'm going to tell you the whole truth and i'm going to be telling you how life is in maseno university so number one we're going to begin with accommodation in maseno the cheapest hostel when you're living inside the school is nine thousand and the most expensive one is 12,000 but the only disadvantage is you cannot be able to cook inside the school hostels so that's it and the ones that have like the ones that are paid like 12,000 they're called Nyabundi hostels so and if you do not like living inside the school and you want to live outside the school the most expensive hostel is 60,000 Kenya shillings I mean that's so awkward but yes 60,000 Kenya shillings and the cheapest hostel is 10,000 Kenya shillings so you pay 10,000 for three months and there's someone who is paying 60,000 for three months that is like 20,000 per month anyway so yeah and examples of hostels that are really expensive in Maseno University is space if you want to live in a very expensive place I don't know if they have out of security there enough and all that but that's the most expensive hostel in Maseno University it's called the space they even put an article I don't know if it's true but i think there's an article somewhere so yeah and we have ram hostels ram hostels range we have like 30, they pay like thirty thousand kenya shillings where i live kept the shed they also pay yeah they pay some amount yeah so i want to advise on accommodation when you're new to masendo university i would advise that when you're looking for accommodation go for a house that is not close to the market why am i saying don't go to a place that is close to the market one Hostels that are close to the market tend to be a little bit expensive. I don't know why, but that's so expensive. Not so expensive, but a little bit expensive, yeah? So, yeah, that is the first reason. The second reason I'm telling you, if you are new to Maseno University, you need to not live close to the market, I would say. Because it's going to be safe. I'm not saying it's so unsafe living near the market. Why? Why am I saying it's so good to live not close to the market? I'm going to explain. So, if you live close to the market and then there is like a strike, the police officers, I would say, are always, okay, they're also humans, they get tired, come on, the students are so rowdy and they're disturbing them, something like that, yeah? So, the police officers tend to throw tear gas everywhere in the market and I'm assuming you're living in a house that is in the market, so what's gonna happen to you? Definitely, you're gonna start itching and all that. So yeah, those are the two reasons why you should look for an accommodation that is not so close to the market but not so far also yeah number two we are going to be looking at insecurity ha ah, the most okay insecurity so insecurity in maseno university tends to be really high when we are heading towards the exam period i don't know why i think it's so weird but i think it's because some students lack school fees and for some reasons they want to hold knives and ask for your phones or something like that yeah and if you're a lady, come on, do not walk at night. In Maseno, I'm not going to say that people are attacked like at night only. I would say anytime, as long as you're alone in a very lonely place, I would say, or near a forest, it's not that safe. So if you're walking in Maseno University and you're new, try to be in a crowd, okay? That's what I would advise. And if you're going to look for a place where you're supposed to live, look for a place that is gated. Not like, so, I mean just gated. Somewhere that has a gate and a fence. A place that if a thief wants to enter, they'll have to struggle a little bit. Then a place that is so open, when they want to steal from you, they just steal from you. Like, yeah. Number three, I'm going to be discussing about academics. Okay. Academics. Maseno University is such a good place to be. Yeah, especially for me. <laughs> okay. So one thing you should know about Maseno before you get there is that every course goes with information technology. So you have to do IT. I think it's advantageous because come on, you're doing your course and you're also learning something about computer yeah so yeah that's one advantage uh once so, something else i want to also say about maseno is when you're paying school fees and you think that you should delay it until the exams are so close please do not do that because it's gonna be so bad for you okay so i would advise you to pay school fees very early if you are in maseno university because i'm not going to lie to you it becomes it becomes so difficult when the fee is not reflecting no one is gonna help you trust me and when you have an x in your portal i'm missing mark 
I don't know. Yeah, maybe something is not wrong. Something is wrong with your, your course when you are in first year. Yeah, like, I'm assuming you are joining. Yeah, so it's the first time you're going to that school, right? First time you're doing examinations. When you do your examination, make sure you have an exam card and all that stuff. And when the results are out and you notice that there's something wrong in your portal, please just go and follow up when you're in first year because it's gonna be so difficult when you reach at fourth year and you want to graduate. Yeah. Number four, I have strikes. Oh my god, this is the craziest thing I'm going to. I don't even know how how to how to explain this, guys. Strikes happen anytime. Right now, you're sitting in a hotel having your dinner. Not dinner, supper or anything. I don't know, or a date or something. And then boom. Students are just running all around. Everything is just so confusing. And then boom, the police are there. And then boom, tear gas. And then boom. I mean, it's always like that in that school. So if you're joining Marcelo University, always one, I would advise, do not be around the strike. Because there's this media, media that these media students who take photos or anyone can take photos and stuff like that. So when the photos come out and you are in front of the whatever the strike the crowd it's gonna be so bad for you so yeah make sure you're not so much close to whatever is happening and also for your safety be aware that if there's a strike somewhere just be far away from it because it's gonna be safer for you yeah and i said it starts anytime and anywhere if you're living inside the hostels there's school hostels make sure you are alert because they remove this what what should i call them these notices they give the, they, let, let's say there's a strike at 3 p.m a notice comes out at 4 30 p.m saying vacate the hostel and you don't know that and you're sleeping in your hostel so you should always be alert if you must you're going to maseno university always be alert yes i'm looking for the other thing mm. ah just run away from the strike please if you're going to that school i am also in that school <laughs> university so yeah number five school events I'm going to measure mostly on freshers night if you are going there and you're a first year the first time you're being in a very huge crowd most events in Masena University happen in the graduation square so it's a little bit crowded I think we have 222,000 students so you should always be careful do not carry your phone I would advise because phones get stolen very bad so yeah and then there's fighting when there's an event people are always i don't know what's always wrong with people they are always there's just always someone who's angry who is drunk or something like someone who wants to just beat up someone else so yeah always be aware there's always fighting in those events and stuff like that so you should always be alert don't be sleeping in events y'all don't be sleeping in events walking alone when you're leaving the gsq the graduation square i would say do not go alone because if you okay when you get there you'll know that where the graduation square is and where the hostels are it's quite a little bit far unless you're staying in equator hostels which is for the guys yeah so it's a very long distance and you have like forests inside there so you have to be safe when the event ends normally the artist always performs at uh 12 a.m yeah so at 2 p.m at 2 2 a.m people are leaving do not leave please just stay there until 6 p.m a.m please the last one is food affordable places to eat in maseno university you are new to the place please make sure you know where to eat there's mom's cafe mom's cafe and silver spoon those are the most affordable places to eat in maseno university and if you want to go expensive guys i would advise you go to green park hotel though i wouldn't advise you go there because okay just go there anyway it's expensive i was just going to tell you what is cheap and what is not they have food ranging between 80 shillings and i don't know how many shillings because i've never eaten food that is past um 150 in those hotels yeah so guys i wonder i know you're wondering why i got so straight into the video i get so annoyed when i want to watch a video and someone is not saying what i expected to hear so yeah that was it guys my name is mohan please make sure you subscribe if you like this video make sure you like, subscribe subscribe please if you are a parent and you're watching this video for your daughter or your son please bear with me just subscribe i'm a very nice person yeah not really nice anyway so yeah make sure you like share comment and subscribe love you guys bye and subscribe